Hey guys, I'm back again. My name is Sean, and today we'll be talking about, as you can see in the screen, uh, Couchbase uh, Server 5.1. Uh, so this was uh, uh, this was launched by Couchbase a couple of months back in December, I guess. So I was uh, trying to install it my on my local system. I thought it'll be handy to uh, good to share with you guys as well how what is the installation process, which is pretty similar to what I shown you in my earlier video. Uh, however, let, uh, the UI seems to have been completely revamped in Couchbase uh, 5 uh, edition. So let's let's get started and see what's what's all there in the new version. So I've just uh, downloaded the exe and uh, uh, browsed to 127.0.01 dot uh, colon 8091, which is the port which Couchbase uh, communicates uh, over the HTTP. So we'll set up a new cluster and we'll give it a name DevOps with Sean. You can give it any any name a basis on your requirement. Uh, um, create admin username could be anything and uh, password. So I've already feed in these information. You can do that as well. Normal information, click on the accept terms and then configure rest of the memory. So you can give it the uh, host name um, or your IP address. You can get it by uh, by getting on to your uh, 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 command line interface and type in host name and then enter and uh, get get your host name or if you know want to know the IP name you can just do IP config um, disk space so uh, disk path so this is where Couchbase is gonna save all their data so it's gonna be program files uh, it's, it's a by default uh, by default um, uh, path which Couchbase uses to save its data that's going to be program files Couchbase server var live Couchbase and then data that this is where it's going to keep Couchbase is going to keep all their um, data so these are the services which are going to be using data services index services search and query um, so we're going to give, give the least amount of uh, uh, MB to index and search because that's not going to be used most. So there are two type of uh, uh, two type of index that is global secondary index or memory optimized index. If you want to read about memory optimized, you can just click on this and try try uh, getting more idea about it. Um, let's save and finish it, and we should have our uh, Couchbase version up and running up on the screen. So let's wait for this. All right, so that's the new video. Uh, that's the new uh, console which we have in Couchbase version 5.0 uh, family. So uh, as soon as you, so I've I've logged in for the first time. In fact, I'll be will be uh, taking you through. I'll also be uh, getting all these information for the first time. So on the on the dashboard we have the data services which shows how many nodes we have how many indexes nodes we have and then search query across data center replications we do not have any um, on the screen on the just below it we see how many uh, how many how is the utilization over here if we click over here it's it shows the CPU utilization so it's pretty much same just that uh, the UI the color combination has changed a bit um, it still uh, looks like very lightweighted, so we can let's create some sample buckets. So once we have loaded these sample buckets, let's try to create one. So how do we create buckets over here? So if we go to buckets, and if you want to create a new bucket, ah uh, yeah. So here we go. So demo bucket. Give it some memory, and we're gonna use the couch base bucket type memcached was used uh, back in the days couple of uh, years back i think when it was a beta when when couch base when it initially started it was using memcached uh, in their backend um, advanced settings replicas enable create replica view indexes and flush enable so you want, don't want to enable it if you don't if you would not uh, flush it up in near future so just add the bucket and we have a bucket being added over here so it's looks like it's warming up at the moment um, on the indexing side we have lots of uh, we have already a few indexes by default available so if you click over here 
it shows uh, these uh, indexes so if you want to create a new index probably we'll have to how do we create so we'll go to query tab and we'll understand how we how we run a query so it looks like uh, this this uh, particular panel has also changed so you generally you create indexes by typing create primary index um so i already have a document where in so i have so primary index uh, on my bucket name so my bucket name is demo bucket i think i've spelled it right uh this name could be anything you can give it a primary created by Sean on on is the keyword which you use and demo bucket is the name of the bucket create primary index again is this index to create a bucket so let's click on execute and see if it's all right so it hasn't so it's the status is success let's go to our index tab and see if there's any any uh, there's a bucket so yeah so there's an index called demo bucket 187 on the node and name of the index is uh, using the GSI uh, type of index. All right, so 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 query tabs. We have seen how to run queries. Um, if you want to run uh, a different query, you can probably type in select star from the bucket name, which is going to be demo bucket. If you have any information over there, it will give us some information. A must have a name or alias from must have a name or alias select like star from okay so if you type on ex uh, error so that's this looks like an error so I hope that's not a syntax error all right so I mean we will look into how to debug that but that's how you run a query on it and then we have xdrc security you get get a lot of security features over here with couchbase version 2000 uh, couchbase version 5.1 um, so if you just go over here and click on the new user you can add multiple roles as well so you can use for auditing as well and then a lot of these uh, HTTPS. if you want to use um, uh, SSL certificate there is already a uh, uh, the already a certificate code uh, generation is given over here and then we have log panel which is pretty similar to uh, our earlier version that's four 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 dot x dot x so over here you have all the event name bucket demo bucket was created on this this particular node uh, with this particular module server name uh, time and date stamp um, that's pretty much all I think uh, from the tool prospect let's look if we have any if uh, the previous tool works similar way so we got a CD into the couch base uh, server and go to bin and CB backup uh, let's try to take a backup of uh, existing cluster uh, dot zero dot one zero nine one and then uh, where you want to save uh, save the so if I want to save it on my C drive template template yeah and username gonna be uh, uh, devops with Sean password was I think random 0908 so this is how the previous uh, uh, backup command used to work I'm trying it, at the f uh, it for the first time on uh, this particular version so CB backup and then uh, your uh, IP address of your uh, couch base cluster followed by the port where you want to save the backup username uh, started with minus u uh, hyphen u and then your username and then password so let's hit enter and wait for it to so yeah so it works as well uh, so 
the backup uh, looks like the tool which we used to use earlier uh, still is still the same and you can use the your backup tools and other tools which is available into uh, under your bin folder um, works as it is so I think that's pretty much it that's pretty much it we learned how to uh, what's what's uh, how to what's there in the new uh, version of uh, Couchbase how to install it how to run queries how to uh, how to index um, and uh, how to take backups as well so a lot of things we covered in the in the video I hope this was informative for you